We look around at some of the most beautiful and satisfying things in our world, and so many of them start small. Well, smaller than small. Seeds, if you will. With fertile soil, careful nurturing, and the right help at the right time, something amazing emerges. Growing your own co-op is really no different. You begin when the idea germinates, you nurture it, recruit field hands, learn from experienced growers, and together you bring the idea of a new community co-op to reality. A co-op is a business that is owned and governed by the people who use it. People working together to meet their mutual needs. It's a place to purchase quality food, a place to gather, and can be a major economic force in a community. There are four cornerstones to every successful co-op. Vision, systems, talent, and capital. As your co-op sprouts and grows, you must keep each one of these strong. One of the main reasons that Just Food Co-op came into being is because the community wanted a way to not only get access to local food, but to support all the local producers that are in the area. Um, so there are people within the community saying, boy, it'd be nice if we had easier access to the local foods that are available in the area. At the same time, there were farmers talking about, boy, it'd be really nice if there was a better way for us to sell our products to the community. And so one of the things that uh, really resonates with our owners and what the, they really want to see us do is bridge links between local uh, producers and them. Now there are so many benefits when a community comes together to start a co-op. From the very first idea, through all the hard work to make it happen, the impact is far-reaching. Uh, a co-op is owned uh, by the users of the business. In our case, we're a consumer-owned co-op, and we have uh, over 6,000 members who have chosen to uh, invest uh, $75 in the co-op. We're obviously about food, good quality food, um, but we also think there, there should be a, a concentration on the source, uh, and, and we really work hard. We have a lot of buyers, uh, we have a lot of uh, vendors that we work with, much more than a classic grocery store would have, probably about seven, eight times more than they would normally have because, again, it really has a, a positive impact uh, in the community. It provides jobs, it provides, and it keeps the money that we generate here right at home. We really promote our, our store as an alternative economic model and um, a place that you can be an owner of and share with 1,700 of your friends and neighbors. And even for those who are in the very first stages of developing their own community co-ops, the greater financial impact is always a motivator. There's also the matter of uh, uh, economic development. If we had uh, only 15% of the people in this area buying locally, uh, local produced products, it would uh, provide more money for the community than all of the farm subsidies coming into this region currently. A co-op not only reimagines the relationship between store and customers, it is also a new way of creating relationships with the people who work there. Cooperatives have always been supporters of fair trade and uh, great concepts like living wages. Uh, we try to pay all of our staff people fairly. Uh, we incorporate benefits, health, dental, medical. Uh, we also have a profit sharing plan for them because we think it's important to create not just a community of, of member owners, but also a community of workers here, and we're very proud of what we're able to do with our staff. This is definitely more than just, uh, than just a job for me. It's, uh, it's a way to be active in the community and really kind of help spread the word about uh, organic and sustainable farming and just kind of being socially responsible. I make a living wage. In the years to come, I could still be a cashier and make a decent living. Um, the co-op really, really cares about who's working for them and with them. So with a clear goal in sight, it comes down to a plan and the people who will make it happen. That was really the key for us. We had a lot of people who were very willing and able to contribute a lot of their time and effort into getting the club going. Well, we operated primarily through what we call the founding team. 
and the founding team consisted of 15 to 20 people um, at any one particular time, but there were many people that were jumping in and out as time allowed, as they had time available to contribute. Um, so at any one time there was about 15 to 20 people that would be working on various aspects of getting the co-op going from fundraising or from uh, capital campaign, raising, raising money, getting membership, outreach to uh, governments. Raising capital for a co-op is a great challenge. Along with the owner-member philosophy, there are also other sources of funding available. Many cities and municipalities appreciate the value of a thriving food co-op in their community and will lend local support towards food co-op development. It's very unique because it's a business that's actually owned by community members. That's one of the things that um, cities try to do is make sure that there's a vibrant economy and job opportunities and good services for residents. So there's usually money set aside and programs designed to help foster that. We revitalized the great quarters of this city through a program called Great Streets. This is a great street. This street welcomes this great co-op. We're delighted to join with the 3,300 investors and members in this great co-op. Thank you very much for, and congratulations for this great new community. It kind of is a great case study in how to get all the pieces together and make something very, very successful. I think that, that if you can get people excited about their food and about where it's coming from and who's profiting from it, you're going to have all the support that you need to start a store. Another thing about a co-op, a consumer co-op, is that um, when we are profitable, which most years we have been, we give back to the community uh, a share of the profits proportional to the purchases. And so they get a return, not on their investment, but on how much they use the co-op. Because if they buy more food at the co-op, they get a greater share of the profit. So that's what really is behind the scenes uh, for a co-op, other than just the food. Ask anyone who has ever been part of starting their own community co-op, and they'll tell you of the hard work, the time, and the great amount of effort. But without a moment's hesitation, they'll also tell you of the feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction knowing that they brought their community together to meet their needs. Hard work, you bet. Worth the effort, without a doubt. The number one thing that makes a change is where we put our money. And I'd rather spend an extra couple bucks to give my money to the co-op because where our change really happens is through our dollar. People here are really what keep me at the co-op. I love my coworkers. I love the customers that come in here every day. I have a very good relationship with the community and the environment and the co-op is a fantastic place and I'm really happy to be a part of it. It's extremely rewarding. Um, I don't know that you could have a more rewarding job than starting a co-op, um, but it is a lot of work. It's very challenging and there will be many roadblocks and hurdles to cross in your process. I would say um, know that you'll need a lot of volunteer hours that are going to go into your project. Um, and to try to get as much community involvement early on as you can because that's, that was really the key for us. To help you and your community grow your own co-op, there is help available from many sources. Food Co-op 500 was created to support co-op organizing efforts across the U.S. with free training, advice, referrals, and many networking opportunities. Whenever I have gone to another food uh, cooperative and uh, mentioned to them that we are organizing a, a food cooperative here in Red Wing. It has been uh, red carpet treatment. The resource base is wonderful. For more information on all the free and useful resources, contact Stuart Reed at Food Co-op 500. From seedlings to an amazing harvest, ask anyone who has done it and they'll tell you that a journey to your own community co-op is a journey worth taking. And Food Co-op 500 is here to help you make that journey successfully.